Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time, we climbed up Catcall Tower, and it was quite the arduous climb, and got the ability of Catwalk from the great god of walls, Kabegami. Obviously, the most powerful of all bush gods. With that said, we did make story progress the last episode because of that, but we also did some side quests. We got a upgrade to Gale Storm, speaking of, we just fucking used it, um, in the form of Whirlwind, which will basically let us create wind wherever we desire. Kind of like Fire Burst Infinity Symbol name, can't remember. Apologies. And something. Another thing, you know what I mean. The power is like that. It's another unlockable brush technique. Uh, other than that, we just saw a Grave of a Traveler, which, again, I really wish they'd, you know, developed that little subplot more. It's not even a subplot. That's how little they developed it, but maybe they meant to do a bit more with it, or maybe they just kind of threw it there because why not? With that said, we can use the Mark of Kabagami from the Power of Catwalk to get up there. Uh, rather up here, because those stairs were destroyed that we just kind of glanced over. There are destroyed stairs after this kind of pier lookout area thing. But, progressing onto the pier, there are tigers, which we're not going to feed. But, more importantly, we have a new enemy. These are the Blue Cyclops, which, I mean, fitting name, they're blue and one eye, Cyclops. We don't have their full finisher yet, That is, but it is um, unique in that is, I believe, the first, I, I might be completely wrong in this actually, but I believe it is the first one that is, uh, that's full finisher is an unlockable brush technique, so that's cool. Uh, I can tell you that the full finisher would give you two through th three demon fangs for defeating them. Now, these enemies are interesting in that they have two forms. They have the normal form that we saw appear in, which you can damage it in, and that uh, that other form it was just in, which um, is invincible. It gets in that form once you damage it enough, or if you use something like Gale Storm or any sort of water technique, it'll put out its cigar, or its whatever pipe, I suppose, that actually was a more accurate name, and it will get angry and turn into that form. Now, this area is called Watcher's Cape. It's said that the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy? It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral, like a heavenly whirlpool. But since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about, and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. So... We have to make it night, and this is a thing I did get stuck on for a little bit on my first playthrough, because it wasn't exactly apparent you had the ability to do something like this. But I guess it is... It's obvious enough, it's just something you might get stuck on a little bit. If you draw a single dot in the sky, you'll make a star. There, a shooting star! I've got to make my wish right now. I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the past, and that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. Since it's a shooting star, the Whirlpool Galaxy reappears. I wish it did come true. 20 players for that. Not bad. We are nearly done with the ordeal Otohime has given us, as Orca said. I wonder what Orca did, by the way, when we just kind of teleported away from Catcall Tower. Like, did he know we did that, or is he still waiting there thinking, Don't come back! Right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this this kind of like little section of the game, this little like ten minute section if you get stuck, is a bit weird. Except, well, okay, actually, this is easy because it says huge women. I was gonna say I got stuck on this. I guess I'm just an idiot. If you're smart and you read, you will not get stuck on this part. I just didn't know he said huge windmill. <laughs> um, basically, we need to spin the galaxy. D don't think too hard about that. It really just doesn't matter. Basically, yeah, we have to spin it three times. Just don't think too hard about spinning galaxy and stars and how much that will actually you know, fuck up the universe. I wonder, are we spinning, like, the Earth around and it's the ga that galaxy is spinning... It's not spinning at all. We're just spinning faster, like, near it? Or is the galaxy itself spinning? I wonder. Is that how, like, powerful Gale Storm can become? I... I don't know. Anyway, that's some thumbnail material right there. But we are going to go back to Orca. I will see you there.
Okay, well, here we are. And there's the water dragon. Big deal. So it's actually easier if you do this at night time thing about now, because then you can see the starry sky. I guess it's pretty obvious where the whirlpool is. I was going to say it's hard to see. I'm just an idiot this episode, aren't I? Hmm. Anyway, you can you could say, why don't you just jump into the whirlpool? Does it really matter? You actually need Orca to, to get through the whirlpool. Uh, you just... I think you just get spat out if you try to go through it as Ami alone. Not that Ami Eastern, but you know what I mean. Finally, Ami. We made it through that whirlpool down to the bottom of the sea. This must be the Dragon Palace in the Kingdom of the Dragonians. Their leader, Otohime, controls the Water Dragon. We better not let our guard down. Welcome to one of the most beautiful and amazing areas in Okami, the Dragon Palace. It is incredible, this area. It looks so good. The music is so relaxing and amazing. It's one of my favorite songs in Okami, in fact. I love this area. Frame rate is kind of poor. Maybe, I don't think it's actually poor. It's just that they added like a weird effect to the, the game while you're underwater in this case. And because of it, it seems to run slower, but it doesn't actually do. I don't know. I don't know the technicalities of it. You're talking to us? The Jagonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your name. What do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the ones who let that water dragon run amok. I am Eastern, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko, ruler of Science City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader, Otohime, for me. Chop chop! I have no time for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Science City? Then that white be beast must be. Hey, what are you two babbling on about? You gonna go get Otohime or not? This way, O oh beast of white. Her royal highness will receive you in the throne room. Alright. Well, that's good. Oh, but there's a treasure ship, Dragonfly Reed. I almost missed it. Well, I don't know if I would have missed it, but... I almost didn't get it as fast as I possibly could. Now, you may be wondering, or you may be noticing something about this area. It is a clone of Sasa Sanctuary. From the security guards at the entrance, I mean, they let you in a lot easier, thank God. But from the security guards at the entrance, to the layout, to the where Otohime's throne room is, it is a carbon copy of South Sanctuary. Yeah, so I don't know why they did that. Uh, I guess because Okami is sort of a big budget game and they needed to save on where they could and little things like this, little areas. It's not really... I guess it's not really important that they be... I want to say unique. Well, actually, I guess that's a perfect word for it, isn't it? It looks different enough from Sasa Sanctuary. I can say, well, it's not exactly a clone of the area. It's just they copy the layout, which I guess it's a clone. <laughs> that's like saying Dark Pit isn't a clone of Pit just because he's different. No, it's... I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to make up excuses for a game I love, but I don't mind the Dragon Palace being exactly the same as Sasa Sanctuary. Anyway, we are in a uh, Divine Spring, and obviously in Divine Springs, there's usually a Stray Bead. So there's another one. There's our first, rather, for the Dragon Palace. Now, the Dragon Palace is... You remember when I said that Mermaid Springs were obsolete when you get um, Mist Warp? Because there's just more Ultimate Origin Mirrors than there are Mermaid Springs, and if there are both... Well, then there's both. Why would you bother using Mermaid Springs? And Mr. Warp is basically free. And then you get Yen from getting or doing the things you do to get Mr. Warp anyway. This is the area where Mr. Warp, rather, the, the Mermaid Springs become completely obsolete. Rather, Mermaid Coins in particular. Mermaid Springs, I mean, they're still kind of helpful. But you'll see what I mean. With that said, let's explore the Dragon Pots a little bit. Both because it's... Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, both because it's beautiful and I love the music, and I just want to show off the area. Oh, since when did the late dogs into the Dragon Palace? So I'm not one to turn uh, my nose at a customer or even a dog. This is the place is uh, Palace's treasure vault, and I'm the vault keeper. But everything's got its price. See, want to buy anything? 
So this is your merchant, basically. You can buy mermaid coins. I, I don't know why you would. In fact, I'm going to be a rebel. A complete rebel. Also, you don't sell the marlin. Which, I mean, obviously, you can cut it up and get whirlwind. Would you rather a whirlwind or a bunch of yen? That's up to you. But Also, a lot of people are going to say, why don't I just sell them? Like, why don't I go right and sell, like, five at once? I don't know. I don't think it's slower than mashing the button. I just don't do that and I don't know why <laughs> honestly it, in every other game I'm like yeah let me sell them in bulk and this I'm like I'll sell one at a time and I don't know why I do that anyway exorcism stuff as in here chancellor this is a dragon palace a sacred pa uh, place inhabited by Stragonians since ancient times and our first guest in ages is an animal like you nothing's predictable here in Ryoshima I suppose hmm canyon visitors are, f are few and far between yeah Presumably the gods allowed you to in here then? I see. You're not ordinary wolf, are you? No doubt you're part of some plan what the Hema has devised. You better hurry up to the throne room and meet her with her. Meet her with her. What the hell did I say? Meet her with her? What does that even mean? What does it mean? What is happening to the Dragon Palace these days? The Lord Dragon is going mad and the forces of darkness are invading. There's no end of worries and things going on. Well, she's obviously worried about the dragon. Uh, water dragon. How can they have skulls on water? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. How did the hash scrolls underwater? Eastern. Your skills of, I was about to say obedience. What's the word? Observation are impeccable. Now, okay. Well, so, uh, the Dragon Palace may be a carbon clop copy. Copy? Copy. Of Sass Sanctuary. Sass Sanctuary looked great and all, but it was kind of basic. Dragon Palace obviously has a you know much better color palette. Look at the throne room. It's got these little cool like light orbs all over the place, and it's amazing. I love this area so much, even if it's the same as an area you've already been to. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. You're in the kingdom of the Dragonians now. I couldn't care less who or what you are, and I'm and I'm interested in, is in that all I'm interested in is that lady sitting on a rump over there. That's your leader, right? Well, we've got some choice words for her. Yes, it is I, Otohime, ruler of the Dragon Palace and ruler of the Dragonians. Er, uh, anyway, we wanted to ask you something. You know that water dragon that's been running rock lately? It's under your control, right? Well, why don't you keep that thing on a leash? And what's with sending your emissary to come get us? Are you really that desperate? The Dragonians are prepared to do whatever is necessary. Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. What the? You know about Ami? The water dragon is our guardian deity and protector of the seas. It kept the peace by pacifying chaos whenever it reared its head. But that all changed just one month ago. Oni Island, the dark place of ancient legends, suddenly appeared. Evil beings swarmed into the sea and laid siege to the dragon palace. We must set our forces to battle, but the enemy was too strong. Most of our realm fell into the hands of the forces of darkness. It was then that the water dragon appeared. With overwhelming strength, it routed the enemy's forces, but the enemy's leader, the Dark Lord, had unimaginable powers. The water dragon nearly fell in the face of his onslaught. So grave were his wounds that he fell into an uncontrollable rage. The dark forces then pulled back from the sea, leaving behind the chaotic waters plagued by the rampaging dragon. So seeing that control of the water dragon, we never had control of the water dragon. It is our guardian deity but its madness now endangers us as much as anyone else. You've gotta be kidding me. The War Dragon is supposed to break the barrier on Oni Island. What hope do we have of attacking the enemy if it won't help us? Indeed, there is little hope left. It appears that all has gone as the Dark Lord planned. Would you listen? No. No, I wouldn't. Bah, we don't need to hear all that stuff again. We can't break the barrier on Oni Island without the Water Dragon. Himiko prayed so long and hard to locate that dang island, and now we can't even get on it. Come on, Ami, you're a god, ain't you? Don't you have some secret weapon hidden up your sleeve? Please, wait. It is true we cannot control the water dragon. However, there is still a way to harness its power. There is? Then why aren't you to say so? It is a deed of last resort and fraught with grave danger. Alas, it is beyond our power. That is why we summoned you, Matarasu. You probably want to go tie a leash on that dragon, right? Well, we're not going to do anything crazy like that. It's not like we couldn't pull it off or anything. Right, Ami? I mean, Orca would probably help us out, right? 
This seed of last resort is as follows. You must retrieve the dragon orb. Dragon orb? What's that? So saying we can just forget about the water dragon and go hunt for the dragon orb thing. So it's a like piece of cake. I mean, we're treasure hunting pros. We already know the location of the dragon orb. It lies in the belly of the water dragon. We must enter the water dragon's body. Come again? The dragon orb is the essence of the water dragon's power. With it in my possession, I could easily break through the barrier that protects Oni Island. Will you not enter the water dragon through its gaping jaws and retrieve the dragon orb that lies deep in its belly? With it, I could break the barrier that protects Oni Island. Now wait just a second, lady. Go get some orb from the water dragon's stomach. Are you nuts? That is the only way left to break the barrier on Oni Island. Will you not enter the water dragon and get the... <laughs> well, on, sister. I make it a habit of never saying no to her pity's face. But if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help this chick or what? Yes. Bummer. All the bosses spoken- Huh? Brami? Oh, great, Amaterasu, your compassion is truly as deep as the sea. And you're ever quick to decide. This amulet will allow you to enter the Water Dragon's Garden. Water Dragon's Garden? That is correct. The Water Dragon makes its lair in a garden here at our palace. Here? At this palace? That thing lives here? It does, but it will not attack us as long as we leave it be. I doubt we will come out alive if we enter its lair, but I truly believe that Amaterasu can retrieve the Dragon Orb. I shall pray for your safe return. Right, well, with that, we could go to the, um, the Water Dragon, and we will. Don't worry about it. But, not in this episode. We, I'm sorry again, but, mm, story progress. We made it. It's like, oh, the he you got to the place. Thing. Anyway, remember when he said that mermaid spring coins, mermaid spring coins, we're going to become pretty useless? Well, now that we have a shell amulet, we can get through the, well, from the entrance of uh, the Dragon Palace, the right door, to enter here, which is certainly an interesting area. Before we do anything, I want to head up here and restore this drum. Make the brush bigger, because the Wii version... You could probably do on any version. I don't know. I have no idea, as I've said. Stray Bead! So there's a second in the Dragonian Domain Dragon Palace, whatever you want to call it. Names are interchangeable in my mind for some reason, even though I don't think they are, actually. And anyway, there's a treasure over here, Vengeance Slip. Can be kind of helpful, but let's talk to one of these uh, these dancers here. This one. Spring, spring, uh, spring up, spring, Lulu. Spring up, spring, Lulu. You okay there? Is it just me or the others seeing something different? That water dragon's causing havoc now that it's settled in the palace. It snores so loud and every time it stirs there's an earthquake. I don't know if that's why, but our swirly willy springs dried up. Our dance troop girls have been ordered to do a water dance. This dance wouldn't get any spring flowing again. No, I say we need to smash through the rock under the spring. If we hit water, that would get the spring going again. Forty someone help and dig a hole where the spring was. I'm not gonna question how you have a spring Underwater? Let's just help them. Oh. Why are you digging this dried up spring, doggy? Because you asked me to? I mean, indirectly, I suppose, but... Indirectly, you did ask me to. Let's help dig up the spring that's underwater. I don't know why they need a spring underwater, but... Uh, whatever, let's help them. Anyway, this is another digging game. Oh, no, no, no! Eh... I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't need another explanation. Why are they still dancing? I don't know. Another digging game. In this one, you start at the bottom and have to work your way up, which is different. I don't know if it's specifically more difficult, but it's certainly different. <laughs> well, that fell out of existence. Let's not go up that way. It's, that way seems, seems slow. A lot of people, from what I've uh, seen, have trouble with this one. And I suppose it is the most difficult of the digging minigames, simply because you start at the bottom and have to work your way up. But I don't know, I don't find it too bad. Maybe I'm just used to it, maybe I'm just a god. I don't know. But, I don't know, I don't find this digging minigame too bad. Maybe, I, in general, I've said I don't find the digging minigames too difficult in, like, as a whole. Well, a lot of people do, because, I don't know, I guess there's trouble with them, I don't know. You know, I'm not gonna, I don't know why, but that's that's the issue I was gonna say, but that's kind of rude. 
problem. Problems also rude. That's an issue. How do I say this? They have problems with it. I do not. There we go. Anyway, they give you a pretty generous time limit with it. Five minutes. Actually, I think they gave me more. Actually, I think they also got time. I think it was five mi minutes uh, for the, the time they start you with, if I remember correctly. And I probably don't. So, that's good news. He lied. But, they give you plenty of time uh, initially, and then plenty of time orbs to get, and then plenty of yen to sell packets if you want. Yen! Get up there. I don't want to fall. <laughs> they don't give you that much yen, actually. That's not a bad bit of yen. It's still going up too. So that's not a bad bit of yen, actually. I was going to say, it's really not worth going out of your way for yen, and honestly, it isn't still. No matter how much it gave you there, but it gives you a fair amount. If it's, you know, it's not worth avoiding. I don't know what the hell you'd avoid yen for, but... She starts in this pit. Great. As I said, Cherry Bomb is the most overpowered thing in digging games, so abuse it to hell, because it's amazing. It even blew up the rock we would normally need to power slash. And in fact, we're almost at the bottom of this already. We just need to wait for her to turn around and get over here. But after this, we're pretty much done. In fact, well, I was going to say we're at the bottom, but no, we're not. This is one of the larger digging games, one of the longer ones, which I guess is why they give you a big time limit, but, you know. I guess that's why it's challenging to some people, because you start so low and then have to work your way up a fairly long tunnel and then have to work your way back down the fairly long tunnel, but I, I don't know. Again, it's not that bad. See, we're at the bottom, and now we just have to wait for her. We have three minutes to wait for her. Can she make it in three minutes? Let's find out. Can I get Can I get this again? I can. Where is she? You okay? Oh, you're hitting these things. That would explain it. Okay, now we just wait for her. In the meantime, I can spin in circles and chase my tail. I like how Ami can spin in circles ridiculously fast in this game. That's like I judge games 3D control, how fast you can spin in circles. I know it's not a good way to judge it, but that's how I do it. And the underwater spring of complete bullshit has been rejuvenated. I smashed right through that rock. And look at that, the spring's gushing again. Or, the swing's running, but... This isn't good. The swirly whirly is missing. The wool's gone? Exactly. It's the swirly whirly that's kept us all in good health up to now. Without it, we'd lose the will to live. Anyway, enough. Just whining about it's not gonna help, is it? Everyone, we got to summon the swirly whirly back again. We'll transfer our passion and enthusiasm into the spring, burning around it as fast as we possibly can. Right, let's just draw this really, really back. And meet again in Nuregami. Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Followers in need and your own pure heart have restored my power. I, Nuregami, have a new power to bestow upon you. I have harnessed the fervent energy of those in need create the power called F Fountain. Use it well. If you're wondering what Fountain does, well, you remember mermaid coins? Remember how kind of helpful they were, especially early on if, if it's your first place and you don't like traveling? Well, say goodbye to them. They, they're obsolete. Might as well not sell them anymore, have any more, sell them all. You don't need them anymore. They are completely useless. Why is that? Well, Fountain acts as an all-purpose mermaid coin. You can just use it as a mermaid coin. One example? Well, we'll have one after this cutscene is, is over. Oh, well, good luck with that. But I mean, that's one mean bush you wield. But you could summon one of those travel wool pulls anytime you want if you use that technique on a mermaid spring. Now we could shovel across the pond for free. Because it pays to help people every now and then. Yeah, anyway. Remember, you don't need mermaid coins anymore. It would have been funny if that gave you a mermaid coin, honestly, along with the water spark technique thing, fountain technique. Just draw the swirly whirly on the um, on any sort of mermaid spring and go into it, and you can just warp, no problem. So yeah, mermaid coins obsolete, completely useless. 
But with that said, we have gotten to the beautiful, beautiful Dragon Palace, as well as talked to Otohime and gotten a new brush technique. Well, an upgrade to an old one, but a new brush technique is, is make it sound better than it actually is. With all that, next time on Let's Play Okami, we enter the belly of the Water Dragon and find the Crystal... Sorry, Dragon Orb. Crystal Orb, what the fuck? I guess that's what Ote, yeah, Himiko uses. But again, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Okami. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching and all that. And no, don't buy mermaid coins anymore. No point.